Have you ever heard of the Nigerian scam? Well, listen up. Let me teach you the Nigerian scam today. Okay. Nigerian scam is identity theft. Uh -huh. The white man would have come to Nigeria to take pictures of very poor Africans. Take these pictures back to Europe and That's to America. Right. Mm -hmm. He would use this picture to campaign for the nation. They would even put advert on the television. Sure. After this advert, people will donate money. Seven million will disappear from that money for only these people. Now the actual money that they would spend on the people whose pictures they have taken would be 200,000. My friend, who is the real scammer here? And these same people will be pointing fingers Imagine at somebody that. else. We're talking about ChatGPT, right? Oh, ChatGPT, ChatGPT, ChatGPT. Who created ChatGPT? No one remembers the guy who gave his life to create ChatGPT. And yes, he's Nigerian. And yes, he did it alone. And as soon as this guy made the breakthrough, the government guys came in and they paid him $125 million to sponsor his project. Seven days later, he died in his sleep from cardiac arrest. Nobody knows this, right? We talk about all other parts of science and everything. There was a Nigerian man, right? He literally brought out, uh, was it a fetus, right? From a pregnant woman, he brought it out. He did the surgery. He put the baby back inside the womb and the whole surgery was successful. She's been born twice. Her first birth of a sort came last spring when doctors were forced to... Nigerians are breaking records, but you won't hear those, those kind of stuff. But when it comes to scam, oh, Nigerians are scammers. You get me, but over the years, oh, Nigerian this, Nigerian that, Nigerian this, Nigerian that. Bro, you've met the bad ones. Have you seen the good ones? Have you seen good Nigerians? Hello friends and family, it's the boy Destiny. We'll be back again with a brand new edition. I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers. If today is the first time to join us in this platform, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction to one of the videos I saw on TikTok. And uh, it's a video by Ben Wosei. That's his name on TikTok. And he also has a YouTube channel. I will just leave his YouTube up here. So... Basically, he's talking about Nigerians and the controversies Nigerians face, you understand? And um, basically, let's really face it. Uh, in the world today, we Nigerians, we are seen to be devils. And yeah, you understand? Everybody say, oh, Nigerians are bad, Nigerians are this, Nigerians are that, blah, blah, blah. But it's not really true. You understand? I mean, yes, I get the fact that Nigerians are loud most times. Some Nigerians are loud, you understand, but not everybody are like that. Or maybe most times uh, you must have uh, be like most times you might have come across the bad ones because in every country there are definitely bad people and there are definitely good people. You might have had an encounter with a bad Nigerian, but that doesn't make the whole country bad. You get me? For the girls, they might have had a relationship with the bad Nigerian, so to say, or maybe something happened, or maybe something happened along the way. But that doesn't mean all Nigerians are like that. Me, I'm Nigerian. You understand? I'm 100% Nigerian. And everybody's not like that. In Nigeria, they have different tribes. Different tribes and different, uh, how should I call it? A different culture and everything. So you can't just classify everybody and put all of us in one basket and say everybody's the same. You understand? Um, so, but the what really gets me is seeing all country like Nigeria is the most is one of the most criticized African country in the world today. Even the US, everybody is criticizing Nigerians. All African countries, all oh, Nigerians, this Nigerians, that blah blah blah. But I saw this guy on TikTok and he's basically defending Nigerians, bro. And I really I was shocked and I really and I don't think he's Nigerian actually. I don't think he's Nigerian. I really give him props for this, bro. Seriously, big shout out to him. I will leave his TikTok handle here and I will also leave his uh YouTube. Uh so you guys should go subscribe to his channel and show him love. This guy is really, really, really doing a great job. So I just want to do a reaction to one of his videos. And it's titled the Nigeria scam. So let's just see what the video is all about. Have you ever heard of the Nigerian scam? Well, listen up. Let me teach you the Nigerian scam today. Okay. Nigerian scam is identity theft. Uh -huh. The white man would have come to Nigeria to take pictures of very poor Africans. Take these pictures back to Europe and That's to America. Right. 
Mm -hmm. He would use this picture to campaign for the nation. They would even put adverts on the television. Sure. After this advert, people will donate money. Mm -hmm. Let us give an example of a ten million dollars. The people okay. will donate ten million dollars. Mm -hmm. This money it is supposed to be for the poor children in Africa. Mm -hmm. The white man has collected this money. Then he would send a team of people to bring this money to Africa. And mm -hmm. remember, they would not pay any tax on this money because it is money for charity. They would okay. bring this money to Africa with a team of people, as if this money is too heavy for one person to carry. Now, these people who brought this 10 million, they would give them a salary of 7 million. Okay. What are they doing in Africa? They would give them a salary of 7 million. They would tell you that the money is for their salary, is the transport to bring those people here. Really? And accommodation for those people that they have brought here. Mm -hmm. That money was supposed to be brought here to Africa, but now not only yes. the money coming. People are also brought with the money too. And these people are taking a huge chunk out of that money. Seven million will disappear from that money for only these people. Now again, you look at two million will disappear. They will steal an extra two million. This brother, that money. really, really smart. Now they will bro, tell seriously. you that Africa is a very unsafe place. It is mm -hmm. very unsafe, and you are bringing a team. Why not send this million by bank transfer? Why can't one mm -hmm. person bring this money? They are sending one whole team facts. of this people to bring this money. Facts, they would bro. use five hundred thousand dollars for security. They would spend three hundred thousand for the local chiefs. They would tell you that they are bribing the chiefs. Now the actual money that they would spend on the people whose pictures they have taken would be two hundred thousand. That is facts. why if you look at all of the faces of the people that they have used for advert charity in the 90s, in the 80s, even in the 2000s, no one of those people is successful. No one of those people is well educated. No one of those people is a beneficiary in all this money. You would even see the faces of the children of those people whose faces were used to collect this money. My friend, who is the scammer here? Who is the fraudulent person here? They are Bro. using the faces of these poor Africans to make money. This is a big business for them. If you go to all of the IDP camp and all the refugee camp, the people that remain poor there. Why are they always poor? The money that people are donating, why can't you use it to build houses for them? Why can't you use it to build schools Same for them? Question why can't you use it to transform lives? Time. The people whose faces were captured in the 1990s, they are still poor. Who is taking that money? Who is the real scammer here? And these same people will be pointing fingers Imagine at somebody that. else. My Imagine. friend, I think. Seriously, guys, big shout out to Ben Wuse. Seriously, big shout out to this guy. Have you really, like, we've, we've not really come to, like, sit back and think about this whole stuff. The money they literally donate, like if you ask them, like somebody says something on TikTok the other day that um, a part of his salary is being donated to Africa to provide clean water for Africans. And I was like, bro, are you literally serious? Most times you do this charity and you hear huge chunks of money. You hear millions, you hear billions. And, and if you still go to those places, the people there are still poor. Where, where do those money go to? You get me? They have UNICEF. They have other bodies where those money can go through you understand okay let's not just say the government are corrupt now right they have other bodies where the money can pass through to get to those other those poor neighborhoods and those poor people in africa right but you find out that the particular place they've been showing for a very long time is still very poor it's like the same video they've been showing for years if you go to that same place that same neighborhood it is still like that like the way they left it you get me but yet like if you go to any country now, me as a Nigerian, when I show my passport, the way they look at me, like, I get searched like times two, you understand, the people, they pat me down, they check my bags, they check everything, you're Nigerian, they think, oh, Nigerian, they do drugs, they do this, we are scammers, we are thieves, that's what everybody say, oh, he's Nigerian, oh, you have to check him, you have to do this, you have to do that, right? What I don't understand is everybody's just saying Nigerians, 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 Nigerians. Bro, if you check the statistics in, uh, uh, in America today, right? Half of the population in, in America, like, when you talk about the immigrants and everything, right? Like, we talk about the educated people in America today, right? Nigerians are even more educated than Americans, like the... Like, Nigerians are even more educated than them. This is not, uh, I'm, I'm not just talking it for hearsay. This is fact. You get me? When they did the study and everything, Nigerians, like, there are more Nigerian graduates than American graduates. Like, when I say American, I mean citizens. You get me? There are more Nigerian graduates than the, the main Americans. You get me? So, what are we saying? What are we saying? 
we're talking about chat gpt right oh chat gpt chat gpt chat gpt who created chat gpt no one remembers the guy who gave his life to create chat gtp and yes he's nigerian and yes he did it alone and as soon as this guy made the breakthrough the government guys came in they've been monitoring his work they came in and they paid him 125 million dollars to sponsor his project seven days later he died in his sleep from cardiac arrest nobody knew this right we talk about all oh, other parts of science and everything there was a nigerian man right he literally brought out uh was it a fetus right from a pregnant woman he brought it out he did the surgery he put the baby back inside the womb and the whole surgery was successful she's tired for good reason she's been born twice her first birth of a sort came last spring when doctors were forced to remove lynn lee's legs and lower body from her mother's womb at only 23 weeks in order to remove a life-threatening tumor for Lin Lee's mother, Margaret Bomer, who had only just lost Lin Lee's twin, there was no other choice. She had a 50-50 chance of making it, and the tumor was so big. Um, I was coming for regular checkups, and by the time, at 23 weeks, um, the tumor was shutting her heart down and causing her to go into cardiac failure. But the operation was a success, and doctors then placed Lin Lee back in the womb so she could finish her development naturally. This particular case was one of those where we were monitoring the child uh, over the course of the pregnancy and it was clear that the fetus was starting to get into trouble, the heart was failing, and there was a need to go in and, and perform surgery. This particular surgery being done in utero is done very rarely. Nigerians are busy breaking records up and down, like everywhere. But you won't hear those, those kind of stuff. But when it comes to scam, oh, Nigerians are scammers. Nigerians are this, Niger it's not our fault that we, are, that, that we are smart. Yes, I'm a Nigerian. You understand like we are literally like um naturally we are smart you get me like deep down inside us we have that talent right all nigerians are smart you understand me like except they don't want to tap into that knowledge in them because you see like you see some nigerians out there they, they act like fools but it's because they don't want to tap into that knowledge that they have upstairs seriously when a nigerian decide to use his god-given talent for good trust me nobody on this planet it can beat him in anything Seriously, be it uh, science, be it, uh, bro, anywhere. Is it tech? What What do you want to tell me? What do you want to tell me? Even in the UK, there's a Nigerian man that owns like up to five airports in, in the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Is it five or six or even more than? Bro, what 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 do you want to tell me? Nigeria is any, like anywhere they go, they like to take over. Like it is what it is, but... People don't see the good sides of Nigerians. Everybody, I'm talking about everybody now. African countries, everybody. I'm, seriously, for me to come outside and be saying this is like, I'm, bro, I'm literally sick and tired of this whole stuff, bro. It's literally annoying. It's annoying most times. The way they just look at you. Oh, it's Nigerian. Uh, there's, there's a bro. See, listen, not everybody has scammers, bro, right? We are not all scammers, right? But that doesn't give you the right to say, oh, this, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yes, we have we have the knowledge upstairs. Yes, yes, we are we we have this God given talents. We are very, very smart and and bro, a Nigeria can just stay here with you, right? A Nigeria can sell can sell you, can sell you to you, and you will pay for it. It's just that's just their God given talent. It's just how we're built, bro. But you can't just classify and say this, 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 bro. See. The ones that are bad are bad. The ones that are good are good. And it's like that everywhere. And I'm very happy that somebody has definitely, somebody, someone from another country has definitely come out and say something good about Nigerians. You get me? But over the years, oh, Nigerian this, Nigerian that, Nigerian this, Nigerian that. Bro, you've met the bad ones. Have you seen the good ones? Have you seen good Nigerians? When you see good, see, people that live with Nigerians, they can testify and tell you, bro, Nigerians. Seriously, if you go to any country, right? If you go to any country and there's and there's no job, there's nothing, right? Try to look for Nigerians. You understand me? There was a friend of mine that said, uh, I forget the country she was from. Mm. She said something. She said, when you go to any country and you don't see a Nigerian there, just know that that country is not good. You can't make it there. Just leave. And that's facts, bro. This is what they say in their own country. It is what it is. 
See, when you mingle with good Nigerians, bro, and you are in a foreign land, bro, everything will work out smoothly for you. Because Nigerians, we don't believe, like, we don't give up so easily. I, I'm saying it now, like, I feel so angry now because I know what I've faced over the years. Oh, you're Nigerian. It even got to a point I was like, bro, I can't, I have to stop using this Nigerian passport. You get me? Like, you, it got to a point, they, 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 they were trying to force us to stop using our identity. And, oh, there's someone who was even telling me, you don't look like Nigerian. You can just say you're not Nigerian. Bro, I'm Nigerian and I'm proud, bro. Proud Niger boy. Better style, bro. I'm not, see, bro, I, like, how should I pull this word right now? I'm proud to be Nigerian. And that's fact, bro. That's fact. Nobody can just come and say, start painting me black all of a sudden because you've gotten uh you've had an encounter with a nigerian before and you just say oh we are all the same nah nah we are all not the same bro different tribes different uh culture and everything so nah bro big shout out to this guy man so that's it guys when you see a nigerian please try to be nice man just try to be nice no not everybody are the same Try to be nice, man. Seriously. We are all Africans. We are all brothers. We are all sisters. We are all human beings, bro. Seriously. Let's give each other respect. It is what it is. That's it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below for more videos like this. Until next time, I remember your boy Destiny, and we out.